hello hello another week another recording so prior to this recording i i actually looked at the camera and spoke for up to 50 minutes and after i was done i checked and found out that i actually hadn't clicked record that's how life goes sometimes so whatever i had said before that it's all gone but i'm try- going to try and like recreate that if possible but nonetheless so last friday I was having a conversation with my brother and the conversation about, was about the gym and working out and getting advice from other people who train and he asked me hey oscar when was the last time you took someone's advice in the gym and i said oh i haven't taken it was advice in the gym for years and he said oscar that's a bit arrogant of you don't you think and i said no it's not arrogant he asked me why and i said reason being people who tend to offer advice are generally not taking their own advice i'm going to repeat that one more time people who are quick to offer advice are generally not taking their own advice now why do i say this the gym i go to it's so i live in japan and i go to an anytime fitness and it's a global franchise it's in i believe almost every country in the world i, I assume so so there's a it's in japan so people assume that people japanese people are not quite large but there's this one doing the gym who's is like 63 a japanese man like 63 you know ripped to the gills he has an amazing physique the kind of physique that people like me dream of now this man he goes to the gym no earphones just his towel his protein shake whatever he's drinking and nothing else and he comes in does his workout 20 30 minutes no eye contact no talking to anyone in workout out right now this man has never once talked me and said hey Oscar you think about your form while you're doing those deadlifts heck i don't think he's even ever noticed me around him you know why because he is so focused on improving himself he is so focused on doing what got him to where he is now there have been people who've given me advice in the gym the advice is typically typically along the lines of hey you're going to hurt your back if you do deadlifts like that hey don't do muscle ups they're bad for your shoulders and you know what i realized from this pull who give me advice is like hey motherfucker can you do a muscle up no i can't hey motherfucker how heavy is your deadlift i don't do deadlifts so why are you telling me how i should be doing my deadlifts how, why are you telling me that i shouldn't be doing muscle ups is it because you can't is that the actual reason why there's this man i listen to on instagram his name is wes watson he goes by at watson fit he's a wonderful follower you should take him out and wes watson has the same advice it's like are you the kind of person that you would take advice from are you the kind of person that you would take advice from now when i imagine someone that i would take advice from it's someone who is you know physically fit right because i respect that i admire that because when i see someone who's who has a six pack someone who is you who has like 40, 20 inch biceps 20 inch biceps i'm not seeing a muscle head i'm not seeing a meat head i'm seeing someone who is extremely disciplined because i know how hard it is to get there because i've been trying i've been trying i know how hard it is to get there right number 2 it's someone who is not not rich but financially sound again because i am trying to get there and i know how hard it is to get there number 3 it is someone who is honest again because i have been a liar and i know the consequence of lying it is someone 
who has dealt with their addictions because I have been an addict and I know what it is like to suffer from addiction or to give in to addiction rather. This is the kind, this is the kind of person that I will listen to. Now the question is, am I that kind of person? Some things yes, some things no. And I believe most people are like that. Some things yes, some things no. But what that also means is that we know what would make us the kind of person that we would listen to. And so I look at my children. I can tell my daughter, hey, stop eating sweets. It's not good for you. And she says, okay, I won't eat sweets. And as soon as I tell her don't eat sweets, I turn around and I'm eating a cookie. And she spots me eating a cookie. And she says, dad, but you told me not to eat sweets. And I tell her, hey, hey, but that, it's because you're a kid. I'm a grown-up. I know what I'm doing. But do I really know what I'm doing? Obviously, I know that eating sweets is bad. Eating snacks is bad, right? That's why I'm telling her, don't eat snacks. Then why am I doing it? Am I just a fucking idiot? Is that why I'm doing it? Right? So there's no way my kid is going to respect any piece of advice I give her if I'm not following the advice myself. I think I've mentioned here or on my podcast that number one, I work out constantly. If I'm at home and I feel like there's nothing to do that I should be doing right now, I just start doing push-ups. And so my daughter sees this. So every once in a while, my daughter will go down and try and do push-ups. And she'll actually say, Walk, I'm doing a workout. I didn't tell her to work out. I've never told my daughter, let's work out. But because she's seen me doing it so much, she thinks that's just normal. Everyone does that. Right? I've never told her, you need to start doing... Why would I tell my daughter to start doing push-ups? She's just seen me do it, so she's going to do it. Number two, up, at, up to the end of last year, I, have been, I was a heavy smoker. And my daughter knew that I smoked. At some point, she said, so I, I never smoked in the house. I usually go up to the fire escape to smoke. So at some point, she wanted to follow me outside. And I said, no, I'm going to smoke. At the time she was three, she said, hey, dad, I'm a big girl now. I can smoke too. People don't listen to the advice you give. They follow your actions. So it's not more like, are you the kind of person that you will listen to? Are you the kind of person that you will want to mimic? And more often than not, I find, more often than not, I find that I'm, I'm falling more into the, the no part of that answer. You know, it's like, hey, I'm not really that kind of guy that I would want to mimic, right? I'm not financially sound yet, right? Sometimes... I'm, not, I'm a bit cold to my wife. No, let me not say a bit cold. Sometimes I'm cold to my wife. Sometimes I'm impatient with my daughter. Sometimes I have this, you know, burst of anger. Right? Obviously that means I'm not, the, I'm not quite the kind, of, the kind of person I will listen to, that I will want to mimic. But there are moments when I am that person, Right? I am committed to my physical well-being. I am, I have, you know what? I'm not going to say I'm trying to quit smoking. Insofar as I haven't smoked, I have quit smoking. And it's been, what, it's been, what, 13 days since I last had a cigarette? So I've quit smoking, right? I don't drink alcohol. My diet is, I, I basically only eat what my wife cooks. So there are areas, you know, I'm, I'm building my business. I'm building an online brand, if you will. I'm trying to make myself a brand, a brand here. So they say there are areas whereby I'm trying to build myself, you know, whereby I feel like this is the kind of person that I want to mimic, and the areas where I am not, right? But it's, what I've come to find is that it's very easy to focus on the areas that I lack, instead of the areas where I have.
and this causes problems, right? So I'm going to ask you guys to, try, to try something that I learned from Tony Robbins, right? And what, what I learned is this. Look around the room and find anything that's brown. Just look. For a few seconds, look for, for any brown objects around you. Okay? Have you done that? Now close your eyes. Now try and recall where all the green objects are. Yes, not brown, but green. Very hard to find the green, right? With, the, with your eyes closed, it's very hard to find where the green is, right? Now open your eyes. Try and find all the yellow objects around you. Yeah, okay. You can see yellow here, yellow there. Now close your eyes. Now try and recall where all the gray objects are around you. Very hard, right? Now what this exercise shows is that sometimes you only tend to get what you focus on. And sometimes you don't even lie to yourself in order to find what you're looking for. I'm sure there were some objects that weren't quite brown, that you call brown, in order to feel successful. You're right? There are some objects that were not quite yellow, maybe they were close to orange, that you call yellow, just to get successful. Now imagine that with other aspects of your life, right? An example is this. Imagine that you want to prove to yourself that your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend is unfaithful, right? You will find so many things to prove that. You will find so many ways to justify your thoughts. Now, if you want to tr try and look for ways to prove that your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend is an amazing person, you will find so many things to prove that you get what you're looking for. You get what you're looking for. That is life, right? So in my own sense, whereby I always, it's very easy for me to focus on where I lack, right? So I always feel like a fraud. I always feel like a fraud, right? Instead of focusing on all the things that I am able to accomplish thus far, all the things, all the areas that I am actually succeeding at, I'm focusing on the areas that I'm failing in. Do you do the same thing, dear viewer? Do you do the same thing? If you do, you know, I will, you know, let's try to change your perspective. Because we can all be the kind of people that we want to mimic. But it is very hard to be that kind of person if you're only focusing on where you're failing. Because if you're always thinking about all the areas that you lack, you, you can fall into a depression. You can fall into a depression, right? Because like, I suck at this, I suck at that. I'm not good at anything. What's wrong with me? We know what's wrong with you. You're thinking. You're thinking. And I see that in myself too. My thinking is off. My thinking it tends to go off, right? We can all be better men. We can all be better women. And it starts up here. I'm realizing that now. I'm realizing that now. Actively, it starts up here. Just change your thinking, change your life. You know, it's like I'm so accustomed to training my muscles that I never realized that I can train my thoughts the way I train my body. And like I'm saying, it's not like I'm not asking you to do what I say. I'm going to do it first. And with time, you'll notice the difference. And you might want to mimic that. And I hope that you want to mimic the kind of person that I become along this journey. And I hope that person that I do become along this journey is someone worthy of God's grace. And with that, I'll bring the episode to a close. So please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.